Hey guys, welcome to your YouTube channel where we talk all about gate exam and we are talking about the admissions. Admissions at the most progressive and fastly growing IITs out of the new IITs that is IIT Hyderabad. You got me right, exactly we are talking about IIT Hyderabad and the department I am talking about in this video is something which I think everybody at, at this time of era is aspiring to be a part of or be a professional about. So let's talk about nothing but then the one of the most emerging branch of computer science, artificial intelligence. So IIT Hyderabad has designated a one separate department by the name artificial intelligence. So let's talk about the entry programs offered by artificial intelligence at IIT Hyderabad. So as I mean most of the students keep on coming and asking one very common question ma'am tell us something about artificial intelligence tell us about the places where we can apply for masters in artificial intelligence it's something which is already coming as a designated specialization it's not that you are taking admission into computer science and now you are selecting courses in such a manner that it becomes a specialization in machine learning or artificial intelligence. It itself is saying mtech AI. Okay, so let's talk about it. So we have it offers three types of mtech programs. The one type is mtech two year TA category, the regular mtech program by the MHRD sponsorship. Okay, for that is for two years and will be teaching assistantship. The other is mtech three year again, the regular mtech program which you can say that the two year is extended up to the three year for the relaxation purpose that you can complete your courses as per your comfort but you can pursue more of research so that is mtech three year the third category is mtech two year sponsored program okay this program which have become very famous by the name ACM all course MTech program so this used to be earlier known as ACM program it has now been revamped by the name MTech 2 year sponsor program so these are the three programs I'm going to talk about in this video about their selection procedure and the eligibility criteria and how they are different from each other let's talk about in detail about the MTech 2 year program which is a regular TA category program uh, MHRD stipend is available of course as part of your degree you do coursework and you do the MTech thesis okay let's jump to the eligibility criteria BTech BE or MSc or any equivalent degree in any of the stream okay irrespective of what is your undergraduate branch plus mandatory gate exam qualified in either of the subjects computer science ec electrical mathematics statistics only in these five subjects you should have cleared gate exam in any of the one five subjects okay so that should have been the eligibility yeah of course other than that uh, the iit graduates with cgpa of greater than 8.0 are also eligible and they really do not need to have gate score okay now coming to the selection procedure the shortlisting is done based upon the GATE score and they also take privilege to mention and or academic background. So they might put this into consideration provided they have a lot of applicants to shortlist from. Okay, And of course after the shortlisting you are called upon for the written test or the interview or both. Coming to the syllabus of the written test, very authenticate, very important and very much helpful this data. If you follow this and prepare on this guideline, uh, you are very likely to get admitted into MTech AI program. So let's come to the syllabus. 25% probability theory. Probability theory, let me tell you one thing, is one such subject that no matter which institute you are going for the written test purpose, which branch, which interdisciplinary program it is, IIC, IIT Bombay, IIT Madras, anything. Anywhere, IEOR, CSRE or this AI, anywhere you go, they ask questions from probability theory. Very important subject. Mostly, of course, we know what all we can see in probability theory, random variable, limit theorem, etc. Right? Then 25% syllabus is supposed to be from the linear algebra. Linear algebra is again one such subject which is asked very, very frequently. So, I mean, irrespective you are talking about AI, I would suggest and recommend please do prepare all the mathematics subject very well no matter which branch you actually belong to and where you are applying for. 
25% programming and data structures because it is a core computer science stream branch because you are supposed to be judged and checked upon the programming and data structure so this might become a little bit difficult for those who are not from the CS background but yes you are supposed to learn in this duration 25% of the syllabus could be from the differential equation a bit of geometry differentiation and other general questions again mix of mathematics and Probably, I am not very sure, but there might be some sort of general aptitude also, okay? That makes miscellaneous, okay? So this makes up your syllabus on a rough ground. I mean, of course, you might take into consideration the combinatorial question, which is not mentioned here, but which might be present there. As per the previous year data, it is seen that uh, generally by the AIR up to 700, I think in general category, I can say, are called up. Like, you can expect a call from AI department for the written test. It need not to be the same every year, but it is an expectation. Maybe if there is not going to be any interview, then once you clear the written test exam, you are done. And if you have scored well, then again you are done. But I want to mention that written test is not supposed to be a simpler one. If it is only written test, certainly it is going to be a little tough. So you really need to be prepared for this too. So now the next program is MTech 3 year. Okay. So MTech 3 year again by the MHRD stipend. And as I have always said that the difference between 2 year and 3 year is the coursework would remain same. The MTech thesis would remain same. The more emphasis is going to be on research. A student who takes admission into MTech 3 year is supposed to perform the research assistantship for the supervisor of the project he has been assigned okay just like mtech ra in iit bombay same as eligibility criteria btec be msc in any of the branch provided you have scored cgpa of 8.0 or above this is a condition for this mtech 3 year which was not there for the mtech 2 year Along with that, of course, you should have cleared gate exam in any of the mentioned stream that is computer science, electronics, electrical, mathematics or statistics. Okay, so your graduation should have 8.0 or above and you should have done one of such gate exam. Selection procedure is again shortlisting is based upon gate and the academic background the, as they mentioned and or academic background and then you are shortlisted for the either the written test or interview or both of it okay but mostly it has been observed that for mtech 3 year they do conduct only interview programs it, it doesn't matter whether it's written test or interview questions are to be there so what do you expect in written test can be also asked in interviews fine so due to highly demand in uh, industries and research organization for the highly skilled professionals and experts in a specific domain of artificial intelligence and machine learning iit hyderabad artificial intelligence department had started a program in 2019 2020 that means last year which was old course mtech program that, that was designed only for one year for highly skilled professionals and it was a self-sponsored program they were not uh, given any kind of scholarship in fact a two year program it was squashed into one year and so uh, after the success of that program artificial intelligence department have revamped that particular program which was ACM and it has come up with a new name this year for the same program so we can say it's a newly introduced program for this year MD two year self-sponsored it was designed or it was revamped for making it at par to the two year regular MTech program. There is no difference in the curriculum and the placements and the coursework that you are going to do in a two year MHRD program and in a two year self sponsored program. Just the mode of admission is different, okay, so that it can, you know, take on the admission from the different variety of the society. I mean, a student can also take admission and already professional in some field can also take admission who can sponsor himself but wants to pursue AI and ML okay so MTech and AI and ML let's talk about the eligibility criteria BTEC, BE, MSc or equivalent in any of the stream in any of the degree okay 
there is no requirement of kit of course you can just notice it up here it's a self sponsored program so there is no mandatory uh, compulsion that you should have cleared the gate exam selection procedure is written test followed by the interview written test followed by the interview where you can expect again question from the basic programming linear algebra probability calculus see these again and again i put these subjects in every video of mine probability calculus linear algebra can never be ignored it's an artificial intelligence a lot of mathematics involved a lot of analysis statistics is involved which comes up from the basic subjects like this okay now uh, mostly it is expected to be written test and followed by interview that depends okay and the written test and interview for this program do not conduct get conducted at the same time as the regular mtk programs this do happen almost a month or something after the regular admissions have been done there is on campus placement no matter it's a self sponsored program but there is a on campus placement there is no mandatory for the gate exam hostel not guaranteed the important point accommodation in the hostel campus or the college campus is not guaranteed on it all depends on the availability okay non subsidized programs so no fellowship in fact for the acm program which was before it was a most expensive program because for each credit you take in a semester you were supposed to pay a some number of 1000 like 10000 or 20000 that was each credit cost so you you assume uh, uh, how many uh, credits you take up in each semester based on that the the uh, fees of the course will increase but i i am not sure about the fees for this program that you can ch very much check out by going on the iit hyderabad website but but yes it is a non subsidized and there is no fellowship there is no government fellowship no project fellowship okay very important that further in future there is no possibility for you to get converted to mtech ta or ra mtech self sponsored would remain self sponsored from beginning till the end okay there is no difference between the regular 2 year 3 year mtech program to this program in terms of curriculum placement course work mtech thesis faculty opportunities labs work nothing the change will be only the change as per the kind of candidate is coming in somebody can sponsor himself somebody can not sponsor okay so this is it i think about this program uh i hope you have understood it totally how the admissions are and what all other criteria and conditions are this is it about mtech ai programs at iit hyderabad and we have covered all the three categories mtech 2 year by mhrd mtech 3 year by mhrd and mtech 2 year self sponsored i hope you you guys have understood it totally and are in a position to start your preparation right here from right now for any doubt and available there you can just write down me in the comment section i am there to help you out and i will see you very soon in the next video with some other important thing to know about till then take care bye bye